Hey guys, in this video, we will be discussing in more detail about the gradient of a straight line. This is the list of topics I would like to discuss, which are what is gradient, effect of gradient, effect on gradient on a straight line, if its value is positive, negative, zero, or infinity. Finally, how to relate gradient with units. This is very interesting as it helps you to link between what you have learned in maths with other subjects like physics, chemistry, or businesses. Before moving forward, I highly recommend you to watch this video as it explains the basic of a straight line. It also contains step-by-step on how to calculate the gradient. The link for this video is in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. This will really help and motivate me to keep making content like this. Thank you very much. Let's refresh. What is gradient? What does it tell? It tells us how steep is the straight line is. To study the effect of the gradient, let's draw three lines with gradient 1, 2, and 4. The red line is with gradient equal to 1. The blue line is with gradient equal to 2. And finally, the green line is with gradient equal to 4. As you can see, increasing the value of m, the line gets steeper and steeper. Besides, if you notice, line with positive gradient leans towards the right. You may ask, how about negative gradient? Let's draw three lines again, but with negative 1, negative 2, and negative 4. The red line is with gradient equal to negative 1. The blue line is with negative 2. And finally, the green line is with negative 4. Looking just at the value alone, which means without the negative sign, it also gives us the same conclusion, that the larger the gradient, the steeper it gets. What is more interesting here is the negative sign. You can see the line with negative gradient always lean to the left. Let's make a general overview on how the line look like based on the gradient. We saw that line with positive gradient will lean to the right and line with negative gradient will lean to the left. You may ask, how about zero and infinity? Here is how the line look like when the gradient is zero and infinity. Line with gradient equal to zero will appear to be horizontal line and line with gradient equal to infinity we have vertical line. Why is this important to know? Very simple, because it allows us to be able to check whether our equation match the graph or not. Why do horizontal line have zero gradient? To understand this, let's try to calculate a gradient of a horizontal line. Let's start with choosing two coordinates on the horizontal line. I pick 2, 6 and 5, 6. Let's continue substitute x and y into the gradient formula. As you can see, the y2 and y1 area will result in 0. This is true regardless which coordinate you choose on the same line, as it is always at the same level. Therefore, the gradient of a horizontal line is 0. On the other hand, why do vertical line have infinity gradient? Let's do the same. I pick two coordinates. Again, substitute them inside the gradient formula. You can observe that the denominator x2 minus x1 is equal to 0. As you know, any number divided by 0 is infinity or undefined. This explains why vertical line has gradient equal to infinity. So far, we have completed discuss on the effect of gradient. Now let's move on to the final point, which is how to relate gradient with units. How to relate gradient with units? It all have to do with the gradient formula. Let's take this graph as an example. It has time for the x-axis and distance for the y-axis. 
If we try to find the gradient of the line, you can notice that y2 minus y1 is finding the difference in the distance, whereas x2 minus x1 is finding the difference in time. Putting them together, you can see we are dividing distance with time, hence the speed. This idea and concept of gradient same apply to any other graph. This is how you relate gradient with units. If you guys find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.